Tonight, Supreme Court justices are weighing arguments about gerrymandering, the practice of shaping political voting districts for partisan gain. The specific case involves a rural area in Maryland, this time a traditionally blue state where Republicans are positioned to gain. But correspondent Doug McElway tells us it has implications all over the country. Levels. Roscoe Bartlett is unusual. He is a Republican in Maryland who won re-election in this blue state's sixth congressional district for 20 years until then Governor Martin O'Malley, a Democrat, and the state's Democratic General Assembly decided he must go. They reshaped his district. Quote, it was my intent to create a district where the people would be more likely to elect a Democrat than a Republican, O'Malley openly admitted in a recent deposition. It worked. In 2010, Roscoe Bartlett won by 28 points. In 2012, after the gerrymander, he lost by 21 points. It is fundamentally counter-democratic. Stop the gerrymandering! We're tired of the tampering! The high court heard arguments today in Maryland's case. Plaintiffs have a novel argument that the gerrymander violated not 14th Amendment equal protection rights, but First Amendment free speech rights, in effect punishing voters for supporting a Republican. If ever there were a violation of the First First Amendment uh, in this context, it's this. The justices appeared to be swayed that Maryland Democrats were overly influenced by politics and carving out the 6th District. Justice Elena Kagan noting, how much more evidence of partisan intent could we need? Chief Justice Roberts adding, part of the objection to the way it was redrawn is that it doesn't seem to have any internal logic. But they struggled to unite behind what Justice Sonia Sotomayor called a manageable standard to define extreme gerrymandering. The court's ultimately going to decide, number one, is this an issue that we as a court can decide and resolve, or is it something best left to the political branches? The court may be hesitant to act, because in roughly two-thirds of the states, redistricting is the direct responsibility of state legislatures. They are duly elected bodies. This is the second gerrymander case the court has heard this term. The first involved a Republican redrawing of districts in Wisconsin. By hearing appeals from both parties, Justice Kennedy may be looming large again as a potential swing vote in the closely divided court. Brett? Doug, thank you.